This video really has had two purposes. Number one, it's given the Christian community a chance to look at this issue from the biblical perspective, probably for the first time. And the second thing it's done is uh, it's given the people that don't know the Lord a chance to see that for answers to the world's problems, we are to look to the Bible. And that's the only place the answers lie for this and every other issue out there. Turnicut's lyrics are written in an allegorical and symbolic way. And the reason we've done that is so that kids will really get into the word and understand the issues that we've addressed, issues that we feel uh, are interesting enough to, to get more people involved in them and to really understand where we're coming from with those issues. We have Christian missionaries in this country that, that learn the different languages of other third world countries. And they go over there and they study how the people live and they learn different dialects and variations of the languages so that they can translate the Bible. They start simple with like Mark or John and then they actually type out the Bible once they learn their language and then they go on to another country. In the same way we're doing that in, in, a, uh, in a similar way, we're learning, we know about how the kids live, we can relate to the kids that listen to heavy metal and thrash and we're saying to these kids, you know, the Bible is cool. We're taking out the Bible and we're explaining it to them so they can understand it. Um, we're not pointing our finger, we're offering it. We're, we're showing the Word of God just the way God does. He offers it and He doesn't force it. I guess I was like a typical teenager, always getting in trouble for stupid stuff. And, you know, it's like all I ever wanted was to be accepted. <laughs> I think Francis Schaeffer in his series, How Should We Then Live, pointed out very clearly the need for Christians to be involved in the arts. And that's exactly what we're doing with this vehicle, is confronting the issues through music. 
And ultimately, that deals and boils down to personal relationships. That's why we make our 800 line available. We're doing it to reach a lot of people who otherwise wouldn't necessarily accept the simple facts and truth. And you have a lot of people out there today in their music exposing basic nonsense, attacks against Christianity, attacks against truth, and, ex and people are receiving it without questioning it. So what we're doing is we're using this vehicle of music and questioning these things, saying, hey, who says that they're right? Because they're wrong. And here's the facts upon why they're wrong.